Beating Minecraft is hard, but what if I could use programming to help me? Today, I'm going to try and beat the Ender Dragon using my coding skills. Okay, so the rules are simple. I have to start from nothing and finish the challenge by killing the Ender Dragon. I can write code to help me survive, but I only get five minutes of coding per idea. So even if I'm halfway through building the best feature ever, once that timer runs out, that's it. Whatever I've got at the moment is what I'm stuck with. Uh, so let's get started. Okay, the first step to beat in Minecraft is getting wood. Now, I can just run up to a tree and break it, but that's inefficient. So let's instead write a bot that will do it for me. Okay, five minutes on the clock, let's go. First thing we need to do is import Mineflayer, which will be for the bot, and uh, actually also Mineflayer Pathfinding. So let's create our bot and call it, um, Bob. Sure. Okay, so I finished my five minutes of coding. Nice. And now I should be able to run the bot and... Okay, yeah, there we go. Bob has connected. <laughs> okay, okay. Now, when I type this command, it should theoretically go and gather wood for me. Oh, yes, let's go. Okay. So now it should just be breaking this tree and then eventually when it's finished, it should give it to me. Well, okay, there we go. We have wood. Coolio. So since that clip, I sent Bob to gather even more wood, and he did. Sometimes had some questionable pathfinding, but it's safe to say we have enough wood. Okay, next up we need to address the issue of hunger. I mean, I'm literally on half a heart. Okay, so I welcome Bob too. He has a diamond sword and will kill any animal for me. So if I type explanation mark hunt, it should pathfind to the nearest animal. Okay, and he's off. Let's go, we have a chicken. Okay, he's off again because we need more food. Oh, thank you, Bob. No, Bob, he took it back. No, there might be a flaw in my code. Okay, so this bot works very similarly to the wood bot. It basically uses Mind Flayer for the actual bot itself and the pathfinding. It then searches a radius around itself and if it finds a passive mob, it pathfinds to it. Finally, it just attacks the mob and gives me the food that it gathers. Okay, now in a normal scenario at this point, I would go and grab some stone, maybe some iron to get some tools, but we don't need to do that. Instead, let's make a bot that will give me diamonds. So this is Bob Free, and now he should give me diamonds. Woo, let's go, we're rich! Now, I know it's kind of cheaty, but I don't care because technically this entire challenge is just cheating, it's getting other bots to do things for me. <laughs> Okay, before we continue, I've been kindly gifted this Keychron Q12HE QMK wireless custom keyboard, and I've been using it to program over the last few days and actually make this video. First impressions, this thing feels super premium. The build is solid, it's heavy enough that it doesn't slide around on the desk, and the switches feel super smooth. Just have a listen. What I really like about it is the flexibility, so you can use it wired or wireless, and you can remap pretty much anything on the keyboard. So it's pretty much perfect for programming, because I can set up shortcuts exactly how I want. Battery life has been decent so far, and the wireless connection has been stable, so no noticeable latency even when coding. The layout takes a little bit of getting used to, especially coming from a standard board, but after a couple of days I was flying through code as normal, and I actually prefer having the numpad on the left, because it doesn't get in the way of my mouse. Overall, I've been genuinely impressed with it and if you're into custom mechanical keyboards or just want something reliable for programming and typing all day it's definitely worth taking a look at i will leave a link down below now let's continue okay so real quick i'm gonna use the wood and diamonds i have to make some tools and some armor because i mean that kind of makes sense Okay, the next course of action is going to the Never to get Ender Pearls and Blaze Powder so that we can make Eyes of Ender. So first, let's get Ender Pearls. Bob 4, I think it is now, will basically hunt any nearby Endermen, so I guess we wait till we find one? Ooh, okay, yes, we found one. Now let's type the command. Go on, Bob, kill him. What is that reach? What? That's basically hacking. No, Bob, what are you doing? Oh my days. Okay, this is uh, not very good. Well, I guess Bob 4 is dead. Okay, so I'm gonna try and spawn some Enderman just to test if he can actually kill one successfully. Okay, I believe Bob, go on, you've got it. Oh, okay, and he stopped again. And he's dead again. 
I guess I'm just going to have to kill them manually. I don't have time to fix it since my five minutes on the idea ran out ages ago. Okay, next let's try and get some blaze powder. So I need to go to the nether, which means mining some obsidian. Okay, I've resurrected Bob and took him to the nether with me. Now with the fortress command, it will actually locate the nearest fortress for me, and then I can just go to it. And once we locate some blaze, so let's quickly do that, Bob should kill them. However, looking at previous records, I don't actually know if he'll be able to do this. Okay, I believe. <laughs> okay, go on, go on. Oh my days, no, he's just gonna die, he's gonna die, he's gonna die. Um, okay. Right, I'm gonna TP him back and try that again. Okay, I believe Bob the second time's the charm, I don't know. Okay, he's doing a bit better. Okay, no, he's dead again, okay. Uh, right, this is bad. I guess Bob 4 is just kind of useless. I'm gonna have to get the blaze powder myself as well. <laughs> okay, I kind of got bored and instead of trying to gather all the resources and then go to the end, we're just here magically. Just, I don't know, imagine we did all of that. And now I've programmed something secret. It's basically going to be a massive army who's hopefully gonna help me beat the Ender Dragon. So I guess we'll see. Okay, so we have Bob in the end and let me just type in some commands and we should hopefully have an army. Okay, let's go. We have a bunch of iron golems. I don't actually know if they attack uh, the Ender Dragon, but they are attacking the Enderman, which is at least helping me. Oh no, I'm getting attacked. Stop, 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 stop. Oh wait, the iron golems are actually like, helping me. This is pretty useful. Why are you looking at him like that, bro? Okay, wait, the dragon is perching. Oh wait, I forgot, we need to get rid of the crystals. I actually got a command for this, so I should be able to type nuke crystals and it should delete them. Um, okay, and I, I, I guess it just didn't work. Um, I guess we're gonna have to try and kill it ourselves. Okay guys, so I'm not gonna lie, I think this is a defeat. Um, if I had a little bit more time, I could definitely get this bot to work a little bit better, especially with the iron golems and the nuking of the crystals. But I guess we kind of failed the challenge because we didn't really beat Minecraft. However, that being said, I had a lot of fun. I've never actually tried programming for Minecraft. This is my first time ever and it was pretty enjoyable. So if you did enjoy this video, please leave a like and subscribe. Also check out Keychron with the link down below to get yourself a new cool keyboard. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.